Hey friends, Prophet Sai here. Praise me and this is the church of you. Praise us all. Folks, there are times in life when people are so dense, so extremely dense, so smooth-brained, they don't even know they are the baddies. Mm, I wish I was kidding. But you know, for example, if you say out loud that you want to deny equal marriage rights to two consenting adults based on gender, and you are afraid people will think you are a bigot because of that, what are we doing here? Is this satire? <laughs> you absolutely are a bigot. If you want to deny marriage equality to any two consenting adult humans, regardless of gender. Oh, I'd repeat it. I'd repeat it. But it just bounces off smooth brains, so even if I repeat it, you still won't hear it. That's a factual statement. You can't expose your bigoted views and then be upset because people now know you are exactly who we thought you were. <laughs> Absolute snowflake behavior if you do that and you're upset. Oh no, snowflake behavior. We don't like to see it. Why do some of you weirdos out there care so much about people who would never affect your life and the choices they want to make? It's super weird. Leave people alone. Do you see how this is insane and dumb? Do you see? Mind your own business? Something like that? <laughs> Truly, something like that. Just leave people alone for fuck's sake. And let consenting adults do what they want. This is totally not difficult. And yet, some of you absolute buffoons out there make it look so difficult. Just leave people alone for fuck's sake. The same people who tell you their core principle is freedom. That's my core principle, freedom. Want to take away all the freedoms. Absolute clown behavior. When the same people who tell you their core principle is freedom want to take away all the freedoms. Get in the clown car, we're going to the clown show, and we're going to behave like clowns. Oh, <laughs> yes we are. Yes we are. Let's take a look at the comments on this Reddit thread. See if we can't glean a little bit more wisdom from it. Next, Clarence Thomas will come out and say he's surprised people think judges going on vacations paid for by billionaires give off corruption vibes. Oh, <coughs> yes, so true. <clears throat> so true. It seems when people hear about things happening and it sure looks like a bad thing, they get upset that they get accused of being the bad thing. <laughs> It seems people want to come out and just deny gay people rights and then say, oh, but I just want to deny their rights, but I'm not a bigot. I'm not a bigot. Hello, sir. What is a bigot to you? Because <laughs> that sounds, smells, and feels like bigot. Mm. And you smell like shit because bigots do not smell good. They sure do not. Uh, yes. Uh, A-plus comment because obvious, very obvious. And we were right to fear theocrats in the highest position in all the land. Yes, because when you have all the land, that means there's all the different types of beliefs. Oh, it truly means that. And those who want all the land to be one belief are absolute snowflakes who can't get along with anyone. And we're sick of it. This is why theocrats in the highest position of all, in all the land is burnt. because they subscribe to one belief and they try to limit freedom by taking away the ability to freely believe and practice as you choose as long as you bother no one else. These absolute, just smooth brain people cannot understand the concept that all the land has all kinds of different people and deal with it. And how about... Being a good person is working with other people in a good way. Oh, does that even make sense to you? Because it makes sense to me. How about being a good person to other people who don't agree with your beliefs? Oh, have you thought of that? It's a radical theory. It's so radical. Jesus. Bigot. A per oh, it's a definition. A person who is obstinately or unreasonably attached to a belief, opinion, or faction, especially one who is prejudiced against or antagonist toward a person or people on the basis of their membership of a particular group. Would you look at that? 
Would you look at that? Alito tells on himself to the exact definition of bigot and then says, How could you call me a bigot? I, why are you doing that to me? I need a bigot. Oh, if it smells like it, walks like it, talks like it, it is it. Okay. Not great. They're intolerant of my intolerance. Summed up very perfectly. Very perfectly. But eh, just like the chicken or the egg, I don't really know if it's actually just like the chicken or the egg. But it is the first source of intolerance that is the offender here. You, sir. You, sir. You, absolute sir. Wanted to deny people rights in the first place. <laughs> I am only intolerant in my life towards people who try to take away freedoms. Okay. Or in response to intolerance. Okay. All right. This is not hard to understand. Oh, we wish that we wish that it was even simpler because apparently there's a large section of populace. Smooth brain. Smooth brain. Can't understand how to get along with other belief. Smooth brain. Smooth brain. Only one belief. Only one belief. Come on, man. Well, they are bigots, so I don't get it. Why would he be surprised by this? Also, another lovely comment because it's just it's just what it is. It's obvious. It's obvious. <laughs> this person writes an essay down here. It doesn't matter. It's obvious. This is better. That is better. Oh, no, I'm being called a bigot for acting like the textbook definition of a bigot. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because they are mm -hmm, mm -hmm, self werewolves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bigots are being treated as bigots. How about that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bigots treated as bigots. Pearl necklace clutching intense vice. Yes, 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 yes. I think we get the idea. Oh, oh, yes. We do get the idea. What is that idea? Folks, don't be so dense and smooth brain in life that you don't realize you are the baddie. You might find yourself not realizing you're the baddie. <laughs> and you know what happens to baddies? They go to hell. Oh, man. Enjoy that one. That's not going to be a good time for you. <laughs> oh, burning forever. <sighs> Thanks for stopping by. Praise me. Praise us all. And subscribe for more wisdom.